His Lordship Bishop James Taupil, the Bishop of Kohima, Nagaland. Very Reverend Father J. Arudraj, the patron, the founder of DMI and MMI religious societies and the Chancellor of this St. Joseph University. Dear Mr. Nyanadurai, the Vice Chancellor of the University, dignitaries in the dais and off the dais, I am really very happy to be here on this auspicious occasion of the convocation ceremony of St. Joseph's University, Nagaland. Of the undergraduates, postgraduates, and doctoral awardees of St. Joseph University in Dimapur. May this distinguished institution, which is being run by the missionaries of Mary Immaculate and the doctors of Mary Immaculate, grow from strength to strength and may the students who pass out from this university bloom wherever they are planted. I am truly appreciative of the vision of your university, which is to learn, discover, create, and innovate, and to become global leaders with vision and values for a new world to come. Your efforts to ensure personal intellectual excellence and responsible citizenship is heartening. His Excellency, Most Reverend Leopoldo Giridi, the Apostolic Nuncio and Guest of Honor for today's program. Reverend Father Dr. J. E. Arunraj, the Chancellor of the University, Most Reverend James Dofield, the Pro Chancellor, Most Reverend Dr. Francis Galis, Dr. D. Kandurai, the Vice Chancellor, Member of the Board of Governors, Board of Academic Council, Faculties and Staffs, my esteemed Cabinet colleagues, Advisor colleagues, Distinguished Guests and Program Participants, Enthusiastic Graduating Students and their Parents, Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and great pleasure to be here in this first convocation of St. Joseph University and to share these important occasions with you all. At the outset, 
I would like to give my special thanks and gratitude to our most respected Honorable former MP and former Minister Late KPO and his family members who have contributed, who have sold their, this land in a very cheap price. And I would like to thank our family members of our TPUs giving this land, a plot of land for this university since my residential house is just near this wall of this university. So, I am the made the guardian, the security guard of this university. I, being the Home Minister of Nagaland for the last 10 years, I am the Trupeter of this university. <laughs> so, within this year, I have made up, the government of Nagaland have made up, have taken decision that we will give a permanent police station just nearby our unit city <laughs> to control the trucks, truckers, to control the drunkers, to control the law and order breakers. Please don't mind if you break all this, you will be, whether you are student or public, you will be in the bar. For that, this year, we are going to set up permanent police station just near your university. Here, I would like to give my special thanks to our Reverend James Tofield, Bishop of Goima Thesis, and the Pro Chancellor of, for his personal effort and initiative in the process of bringing St. Joseph University, which is a private university under the government of Nagaland, at number 6 of 2016. He also met me personally on several occasions. By the time I was Home Minister, we together approach our Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Governor, and most of our Cabinet colleagues. The first proposal was, he brought was St. Joseph Catholic University. We approved, but when we sent to our Honorable Governor for his final approval, he slightly changed the very word deadly. He told us, why not you go for St. Joseph University? You omit that Catholic. So whether we omit or not, this is a Catholic University. Everybody knows. So we agreed to his proposal, and this was uh, established after 2016. To all the Christians, it is a defining moment for all of you and a day of celebration. Your hard work never has resulted in obtaining the honor from these prestigious universities, which in itself is an accomplishment. It is also a day to look back on the various challenges you have overcome and look forward to those lie ahead, knowing that you have acquired the required skills and knowledge to meet them. I know that you have made many sacrifices in order to earn your degrees, 
But at the same time, it is also important to recognize and remember the efforts of all those who have supported you on your journey thus far. The sacrifices of your families, teachers, guides, and all the faculty members in terms of financial dying, guidance and accumulation of responsibilities that allows all of you to focus on your studies and in addition the institutional environment that has contributed to your growth which cannot be underestimated. On this occasion, I would like to share with you that education does not stop after one graduates or acquire a PhD degree, but it is a lifelong learning process and the moment you feel content, it will invariably take a pause. The more you read, the more you know, and it makes you realize how less you know. That's the beauty of knowledge, and I urge all of you to have this intellectual hunger in life. From here on, many of you will be moving out for the shelter, confines of college, and entering the real world with all its ups and downs. The process of transition may pose some problems, but I'm sure that with the value system and knowledge acquired from this university, coupled with zeal to learn continuously, you will be able to face the world with confidence. The future of our state and our country intertwined with yours as a leaders for tomorrow. And I urge all of you to shake it properly. Be guided by ambition, but never be totally governed by it. It is normal to have ambition, but if one is wholly entrenched in it without realizing the concept of limitation, it ushers desperation and discontentment. You should strike a balance, and that striking of balance is contentment in life. I wish all of you to be content personalities so that you become a cheater. On this happy occasion, I want to urge all of you to have a dream about a better society and to work hard in making it a reality. Never get disappointed by failures in life. I trained politics in 1982, it's completed 40 years. I was defeated three times, but I was not discouraged. Because of that, I'm here today as a Home Minister, the Bodhichini, sir, in front of you. So please don't be discouraged by the failures. The maturity of a society has to be charged in terms of the consciousness of the young generation towards their obligations and duties towards societies. In the process, educational institutions also have an important role in igniting young minds of our future generations and grooming them for a proactive role in public participation and for which I wish to acknowledge 
the San Jose Union City for its immense contribution towards East End. My dear Ukrainian students, friends, the future of our people is in your hands as we will be counting on you as a together scientists, engineers, economists, lawyers, writers, artists, entrepreneurs, policy makers, politicians, etc. that we need. A huge responsibility rests on your shoulder, but I have confidence that you all are capable of the task. If it is not so, you would not be sitting here today. I am elated and encouraged to have learned that San Jose University Timapur is being run by the sisters of TMI, daughters of Mary Immaculate, and the fathers of MMI, missionaries of Mary Immaculate of the Catholic Church under philanthropic societies, which is imparting quality education to the young students. The institutions having expertise in science and technology is playing a promising role in molding up the women, youth, and children with high level of social responsibilities. Nagaland is privileged to have this university of high repute imparting multifaceted disciplinary courses which are the need of the hour. I'm optimistic that St. Joseph Junior City will fulfill its mission towards ensuring personal and intellectual excellency, excellence to the young students and to make them responsible citizens in this fast-changing world. In conclusion, let us be reminded of Nelson Mandela, famous saying, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Now it is up to you all to prove to it. With these few words, I thank the ad administrators of St. Joseph University for giving me the privilege to be a part of this, its first ever convocation program, which in itself is a history. Once again, a big congratulations to all the graduating students, and I wish all of you a bright and a successful life. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, sir. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television set as well. For Dimapur viewers, we are on channel number 10 in Global Chapter. And for Kohima and Mokokchung viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.